Hey, it's a friend, and it looks like the next portion of our journey is to ascend this tower in the center of the room and make our way to that hole at the top and hopefully get back to, to ground ground level. We've got co-op friend waiting by another mural we should go check out. What does it show us? Let's see. The man standing. Are we that man? Are we that special warrior? Oh gosh. We're able to fly everywhere now? The whole room has been granted with the beauty of Scarf World? It's a glyph. Thank you for the glyph power. Or at least the lower level has lifted us up. Lifted us towards the sky, granting us with the ability to climb where we need to climb. Boost. So we continue to rise. Is this another mural location? Or just a piece of art? A piece of architecture? It is, okay. Just didn't want to leave anything uncovered. Or un, you know, I guess anything covered. <laughs> Lift me and we will fly. Looks like there's another mural location over there. I like kind of the haziness of the sand down below now. It's like very, very pretty. Like a dust cloud of storm cloud, but we don't need to worry because we have reach the next the next mural which shows the men riding the carpets higher up the tower the level lifts and jellyfish appear and the light continues to rise and now we can fly freely again that's so cool this flight bright light below us we ride the jellyfish a higher plane. Now midway up the tower probably. Looking for glyphs, looking for an exit out, looking for I feel like there's something inside this tower. A glyph within. Can I reach it? No! Thank you. Good eyes. Got it. <laughs> There's something really rewarding about collecting those. I know it's like the simplest of um, the simplest of collectibles, but you know, it seems like you're doing something so good. As the sand rises, we'll climb higher and higher. Again, you can see your scarf does not expire when you ride the beautiful jellyfish. Make our way up the next plateau. And what happened next? I feel like this is like a, a um, Miyazaki movie in some ways. The men got to the inner tower, it looks like. This sand level rises once again. Or the tower lowers. Both. They're about to square off with the dragons, it almost looks like. Oh, it's a scarf dragon. Hey, you're not scary. Where are we going? all by myself? No. Huh. 
if I use the dragon? Will you lift me up? Yes! Carry me. Thank you. <laughs> that is so cool. Gosh. And then, they found the path out. Are we reaching... Reaching the end of this... This area? I really like that Scarf Dragon. He is pretty darn cool. Now we get to waltz along the chandeliers. Cross scarf ribbons. Fly our way higher and higher. This is unlike anything I've ever played on my channel. It's kind of a really a really special walkthrough, a really special series of videos. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope uh, that, that newcomers to the channel will come back and look at this as, as a very, very unique and different um, just unique and different portion of, of my channel and of my sort of video history. What what we have here. What happens next? I love how they're telling kind of the story through these murals. It kind of adds like an element of linearity to an otherwise very open and, in, and openly interpreted game. They descended the mountain and found something outside. That's what it seems. Oh. A way out? steps. Three of four. I feel like it would be very difficult to go back and collect every one as it's, you know, urging us upwards and upwards, but I feel pretty good about three out of four. That's, that's, I'm solid with that. No watcher? Whoa. Whole ceiling and sky are opening up, giving me Filling my scarf here? Holy cow. 5,000 glyphs. What do you think of this, Watcher? Are you proud of me? Have I reached where I needed to reach? I think they're telling me you are that man. Adventure forth. Save the world. Watcher leaves us once again. We're greeted by yet another gate opening. A pathway towards the humongous mountain that we have seen and strive for the entire game. I still am so amazed by the color palette, by the fidelity, by the just the pure art of this game. Fill me up some more. I'll fill you up, okay? Thanks. Together, we can have full scarves. Oh, is it snowing? No more sand, but snow? Now it's really cold. If the sand was tickling our feet before, now it's just pure frigid ice. The mountain is close. We have to move quickly. Our journey is not over. And yet, things are freezing and frigid. And... How will we 
only survive. You don't need to keep hitting that, sir. It's okay. I know you're nervous, but stop panicking. We can do this together. Their poor feet. So thin, so tiny. Uh-oh. Scar's being chased by a dragon. Ripping them to shreds. That is not fun or fair. My poor scars, my poor magic carpets. Even my cloak is getting covered in snow. Poor creature. How will you survive this winter? It's like a freaking storybook, a gorgeous storybook. just blizzard-like conditions. Wow. Could anything feel more oppressive than the cold and the wind? The wind's coming. I think we have to hide behind these. These stones. Hey. Rise up, little scarves. the wind, protecting ourselves from it. Okay, let's move. Let's see, can we reach this one over here? Yes, I can. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Go oh, young, young Frodo. My my scarf is freezing over as I make my way through the holy mountain. Hopefully, there's relaxation and respite waiting us. Warmth, food, a nice pillow. If everything is freezing over. Frostbite setting in. I'm becoming just low on energy, low on stamina, low on strength and warmth. We journey on. As is the name of the game. Endlessly. We journey on. Up the mountain. Hey, carpet. You must be so cold. We free you and warm you. And you can warm us. Thank you. Thank you. boost of warmth for our freezing cold bodies. Thank you. Already getting covered with sand again is the carpet. Poor carpet. The moon. Look at the moon. It's a very, very big pit. And the winds pick up once again. Cold. We can free each other. If we stick together, that's so cool. We can stay warm together. Work together to maintain heat. Just like a pack. Just like a group. Just like a duo would do. Climbing a mountain together. Completing a journey together. Driving their strength from each other. Drawing on each other's heat, each other's warmth, each other's love. There, I mean, say what you will, but this game does have a lot of um, very, very deep themes, metaphors, and, and obviously open to any interpretation as you would like, but I think they were clearly going for something much more unique and, and special than the average, you know, the average game story. All told without words, mind you. The light. A place of warmth to heat us up as we continue on our journey. There's the moon. Ascending, you can see there's things fluttering in the distance trying to get out of this oppressive cold. Carpet! We need your help. Thank you. Clear away the snow.
walking side by side. <laughs>